At the heart of Kibra constituency in Nairobi County lies a company that is transforming the lives of residents one ornament at a time. From bangles to handbags, earphones to phone charger cables, it seems there is no limit to their creativity. I'm of course talking about Sawa Life, but who exactly are they? Sawa Life is a more of a CBO, that's a, a community-based organization uh, in Kibera which aims at uh, women empowerment. Sawa started three years ago, uh, that was back in 2017, uh, with a group of only five women uh, who came together doing uh, skills through handcraft, through training, through networking, SAWA has grown to be what it is today. Currently, we have a total of uh, 40 women under the SAWA umbrella. Uh, most of them hail from Kibera, uh, but we have stretched our arms to other places such as Kiambiu, uh, Kabiria, and even Madari. The first item that we deal in are the devices. That's the earphones and the USB. Uh, we also deal in uh, earrings uh, through paper bead and a bit of Maasai bead, uh, bangles, and we also do like uh, some beading on spectacles, yeah, just for uniqueness and fun. Our vision is aligned to uh, the SDG, towards a clean environment, uh, zero pollution. So what we do is, we source for already used magazines, and we use the peppers to cover the ornaments to avoid breakage and also as a way of recycling and also to beautify them. Our main target market is out of Kenya, uh, mainly in America. For you to base your market abroad, the quality has to be top-notch. It has to be something that is desirable, uh, something that cannot affect somebody health-wise. Uh, maybe skin rashes or anything. So we try as much as we can to ensure that whatever we export from sour to wherever it's going to, it's uh, human friendly. And that's from Kibera to the world. For Chums Media, my name is Michael Zimanji. <laughs>